Support for Radio Friends comes from Rose Heart Hypnotherapy, serving Central Missouri since 2007. They specialize in pain management, pre and post medical procedures, fears, phobias, and increasing performance and success in every area of life. Athletes needing sports hypnosis to improve their ability will be pleased to know that Rose Heart Hypnotherapy specializes in neurofeedback and is the only certified OptiBrain train and golf partitioner in Missouri. Call Rose Heart Hypnotherapy at 888-604-9997 or visit mohyp.com and experience true success. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, April the 27th. We're going to talk a little bit about the Jefferson City Art Club right now. And I want to introduce you to Fred Schomeyer. Good to have you here, oh, Fred. Thanks, Paul. I'm happy Jefferson to be here. City Art Club. And this is a, an organization that's it's, been around for over 100 been, years. Oh, it's been around over 100 years. Yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. a long time. So yeah. what have you got today that you want to Well, promote? we've got several things. It's kind of a busy spring for us. First of all, we have the Adult Fine Artists Exhibit that's going on at Capital Arts in Jefferson City right now. And so that, what is the Fine Arts Exhibit? Well, it's a number. It's performed professional and amateur artist uh, exhibit work there. It's a judge show, so you'll go in and see ribbons in first, second, oh, third places. Okay. We have artists from throughout central Missouri. We have a watercolor artist from Warrensburg who has a piece in the show. We have an oil painter from Washington, Missouri that has a piece in the show. So it's all throughout central Missouri. We have several Columbia artists exhibiting work there. And um, that uh, goes on through uh, actually the May 6th that okay. show and okay. um, there's a gallery crawl in Jefferson City Friday April 27th today what's, and what's that called uh, the art around town gallery crawl and that's from one uh, that's from four to seven I think there's seven galleries in Jefferson City that will be open oh that you go you just you go, walk in from one gallery where, you don't and, need to crawl to right them. no you don't have to crawl <laughs> okay. unless there, I don't think there's any liquor involved so there won't be anyone crawling I don't okay think I like so. that yeah so it's called the gallery crawl but you walk from gallery to yes, gallery yes and, and then what else and then we have the high school sketch day uh, Jefferson City uh, our teachers select a number of students to go out. They will be going out on Monday, May 7th, going out doing plain air painting. They sit outside all day, uh, find a location to draw. Uh, some use charcoal, oh, some paint. Nice. And they come in and uh, they display their work then at Capital Arts. It is judged. And there's a reception for that on Wednesday, May 9th from 3.30 to 6.30. You so, got everything going on. Uh, yeah. Open to the public. Yeah. And one more thing okay jerry asked me to plug um this um the jctv mid missouri art news and the runge conservation center in jefferson city are holding an art exhibit and uh, it's artists that appeared on the show with jerry ricker will be exhibiting their work at the runge center and that runs may 1st through june 3rd and that's all nature themed art at the uh at the conservation center got it all in there you got everything in. Yeah. Okay. So if you, uh, thank you so much, Fred. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thank you, Paul. You're out of breath. You got so much in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if if you want more information on this, if you didn't get everything that he that he was talking about, you can go to the website, and that is the Jefferson City Art League dot com. Okay. Jefferson City Art League dot com. Fred, we got to bring in two other people here. <laughs> Fred still got more than he wants. To <laughs> He's got more he wants to talk about. But uh, if, if you have more information, or if you want more information, Jefferson City Art League dot com, Art Club, Art Club dot com. That'll give it all to you. Okay. Now. We've got to tell you about something that is coming up very soon. It is called Kitchens in Bloom, and this is an annual event. It is a fundraiser. Yes. And I want to introduce you to Rose Volman, Service for Independent Living. Good to have you here, Rose. It's good to be here, Paul. And Angela Holloway. Good to have yes. you back, Angela. Thank you. From Kerry Brayman Remodeling and Design. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is Kitchens in Bloom? 
Kitchens in Bloom is a self-guided tour of recently remodeled kitchens in the Columbia, Missouri area, and it's a festival. We've got treats and refreshments and a raffle for a um, designer purse. Yeah. And um, then, of course, we've got contractors on site. Uh, Carrie Brayman Remodeling is our presenting sponsor. And, 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 and Carrie, what you've done then is you've remodeled how many kitchens? Um, well, we've done several over the years. Right. This yeah, is a our lot of 15th. Kitchens, but, yes. But yes. what you're going to be showing for Kitchens in Bloom, is it three? We just have the one kitchen one on kitchen the tour. One kitchen and... There's, there's uh, three before pictures and three after three pictures. Three before and three of after the same, of remodeling that you've done. Right, of that same project. Now, how are you raising money with this? Well, we sell sponsorships to the contractors mm -hmm. and to different entities that are affiliated with the construction process. Um, there's tickets for the event. They're $15 in advance mm -hmm. and $20 the day of the event. Now, how do people see what you've done? It's, it's a self-guided tour. So they can actually, we're going to show you some pictures, and you'll describe right. what we're going to see here for people listening on the radio. But folks who want to go out, they can actually go into the kitchens and into the houses that you remodel. Yes. Right. All right. Let's go to the first one here. And for people listening on the radio, explain, describe what we have. Okay. This, this is, is the before. This is the before picture. Um, the wall in between that's yellow, we removed, so it just opened up the space. Mm -hmm. um, and and this, this looks like you're you're looking from the living room. Is it the living room into the kitchen? It's from the dining table from the into dining the table. kitchen, kind of through those doorways. You'll see the living room. Um, there was dark paneling around yeah. in the living room, and so. And then and there's the and you lightened it up. So, My goodness, this is mm -hmm. like night and day difference mm -hmm. with the flooring that you did and this this massive island. Right there, the the island is long enough for four chairs, mm -hmm. and uh, it has an extra prep sink. The space is opened with the kitchen now. Very nice. And yeah. All the counters are raised. This is now, another before picture from the front the, door. Okay, look, looking, looking in the living room. Into the living room. And so you'll see the paneling there and the fireplace that we um, updated as well. And that wall, again, you'll see that's been removed on the after picture. There's then the what you did, picture. again, you, it yeah. looks like you put stone on the fireplace, right. hardwood floor. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And more lighting, right? Right. Everything's bright and open, and all the counters are, like I said, a little taller because yeah. they're a taller family. And one, one more, uh, one more. And that's the Here's a before. another before from a different angle, looking from the back, kind of laundry room area into the kitchen, and then the after picture is again with the wall removed and everything more and open. I know it looks like you work with hardwood floors a mm -hmm, lot, right. which gives a totally different look to the room. Right, yeah. They, which is really popular right mm -hmm. now, and it's great as you maybe age in place, the hardwood floor is easier to maintain, and if, heaven forbid, you have to use a walker or wheelchair, it's a lot easier to navigate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. all right. So if people want to get tickets for Kitchens in Bloom and help you raise money for service for independent living, how do they do it? Tickets are available at DNH on Broadway, at McAdams Limited on Old 63, um, at our website, silcolumbia.org, okay. and at our facility. Okay, at Service for Independent Services Living. Services for Independent but Living. But probably the easiest way would be to go uh, sil.org, the website. SIL Columbia. SIL Columbia org. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. I see Fred still Thank over there talking sponsor. about the art. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming Thank out today. Thank you for having us.